Hi, I'm Kevin Hoyt with the Adobe Flash Platform team. Now, before I've shown you Air applications running on the iPhone and running on Android, but today I'd like to give you an exciting update on the progress we've made so far. Now, as of today, there are over 100 applications available on the Apple App Store that have been created by a small group of developers using Adobe Flash Professional CS5 and Air 2 SDK private betas. So the Flash platform allows designers and developers to take advantage of their existing code, assets, and repurpose them for multiple mobile operating systems such as the iPhone, the Android, Blackberry, and more. So now I'd like to show you a couple of these Air applications running on the iPhone OS. And the first application I'd like to show you is Ficklebox. And you've seen Ficklebox before. Uh, we'll launch the game, we'll play a new game here, and we can go ahead and click on the various colored blocks to clear them out of the way. So that's Ficklebox running on the iPhone OS. And because it's running on the iPhone OS, that means it'll also be available on the iPad and the iTouch. Now, I also have it running here on my Motorola Droid on the Android operating system. It's the same code, same application. And we can go ahead and tap on the blocks and eliminate them from the grid. And if you really want a challenge, you can play them side by side on the iPhone OS and on the Android OS. You can see that uh, as we tap and remove the blocks that the application performs and behaves the exact same manner on both devices. Now the next application I'd like to show you is Fruit Smash. We'll launch the application and we'll go ahead and select Classic Game here. And we'll select a new game. And then we can go ahead and match up various fruits by changing their position and then clearing the stage. I like the juice meter at top too. And when you max out your juice meter, you move on to the next level. Another application I'd like to show you is Tiny.edit. Tiny.edit is a little icon editor. We can use the various tools at the top here, for example, to zoom in. Then I can use this little hand tool at the bottom to slide around and find the pixels I want. And now when I've found the location I want to paint in, I'll choose a color and then go ahead and color those pixels in. Use the zoom to zoom back out. And now we can see I've started painting the jelly beans hair green. So now I've shown you a few applications developed using Flash Professional CS5 and the Air 2 SDK running on multiple mobile operating systems. If you want to learn more about developing mobile applications with Flash Professional CS5 and the Air 2 SDK, head on out to the Adobe Developer Connection. That's all for today. I'm Kevin Hoyt with the Flash Platform team.